and the outstanding view of the Parthenon here at the Acropolis in Greece. Well, good morning cruise fans, and here we are now. It's day four of our seven day cruise on the beautiful Explorer of the Seas. And today we're in Athens, uh, Athens in Greece. And uh, we just thought we'd give you a quick shot of the port area uh, prior to getting off today. Today we're gonna do the hop on hop off bus and take you for a tour around Athens itself. So stay with us, stay tuned. Um, but we just thought we would give you a quick idea of what the port looks like and what you can expect to see when you arrive in Athens on your cruise. And in the port with us today are another couple of cruise ships. Uh, there's a Holland America line uh, ship there and also another Royal Caribbean uh, cruise ship. So we'll check her out and see uh, which ship it is in uh, due course. But um, here's Athens. It's going to be very warm today, we think. Uh, probably in the high 20s, early 30s. And we're going to take you off for that tour, as I mentioned. So it's a lovely explorer of the seas. And we are in the ports in Athens, in Greece. And I just thought I would give you a little shot of the beautiful explorer of the seas. And then just share a little bit of the port with you. Uh, here's the uh, cruise terminal, it's cruise terminal B uh, and we're going to be going through that in a moment and uh, checking out what tours and activities are available once we get through. And here we are in the port of Piraeus and we're just going into the arrivals hall now and it's a fairly open expansive hall obviously designed for uh, lots of passengers arriving uh, obviously a couple of security gates there and some conveniences and further in there's uh, an information area and uh, a couple of shops there's a hard rock cafe here okay and so the uh, information area seems to be a bit of a, a bit of a scramble there and some uh, apparel shops and also some other stores uh, here on this side. And as you come through the arrivals terminal, you come into this, uh, into this part of the port where you can pick up a taxi and also a variety of different bus services as well. So today we're probably going to do the hop on hop off bus. So Stay with us as we take a look around the city, the ancient city of Athens. And a variety of sightseeing uh, bus uh, options. There's the uh, uh, city sightseeing, and there's uh, another one, and a, and a Greek based one, and another company over on the left hand side. And as we leave the port, you just start to see some of the houses in the city. And a beautiful little inlet with uh, hotels and a nice marina. Another lovely port 
with a fantastic looking marina with lots of tall ships, catamarans, etc. Another beautiful part of the marina, getting closer to the coast edge. How lovely is that? And another beautiful view across the bay and a fantastic harbour and beautiful marina. How lovely is that? And a rather large stadium over on the left hand side. It's uh, Athens Football Stadium. Okay, so here we are now off of uh, Stop A4 on the city sightseeing uh, tour, and we are at the Acropolis, the uh, beautiful uh, ancient monument of. Uh, ancient similar civilization so we're going to be seeing the Acropolis and the Parthenon today and uh, taking you for a walk around this historic site and very conveniently for those visitors that perhaps are less able there are uh, slight inclined slopes or you can go up and down the steps so if you're thinking about coming to see the Acropolis and the Parthenon then there is an easier, I wouldn't say easy, but it's an easier way to get to where you need to be. So how good is that? And so the first thing we'll look at is one of the sides of the Parthenon. This is of course lower down the hill uh, to where the Acropolis is and some absolutely fantastic ancient ruins and overlooked of course by the Acropolis on the top of the hill how lovely is that and the area that we're looking at at the moment is the Odeon of Herodotus Atticus, which clearly was a uh, bit of a uh, uh, Odeon style uh, area uh, in ancient Greek history. Okay, so uh, here at the Acropolis there are some areas where you can get some refreshment. And also, should you need any first aid, there is a, a little area here. Um, there's a bit of a queue for the tickets for the Acropolis uh, and the slopes. And a general sort of area, there's uh, conveniences, WCs, uh, somewhere to get some water, etc. And all in all, 
uh, quite a good little setup for this attraction. And here at the Acropolis, they have a ticket office and an elevator for disabled persons, and baggage and first aid, and museum shop, tourist guides, a refreshment bar, and a post office and conveniences. Okay, so if you come to Athens and you want to see the Acropolis and the Parthenon, then be prepared to wait online to get your tickets or buy your tickets online. So um, we've been in the queue for about 20 minutes or so and we're about halfway. So do bear that in mind and build that into your travel time. When you've queued up for your tickets, you can also queue up for access to the Acropolis and to the slopes. So again, be prepared to build that into your itinerary because there will be wait times you'd need to build in. So, okay, so once you're in to the uh, site itself, then some steps up to the Acropolis at the top of the hill. When you're here, there's a very helpful map to give you an idea of the way up and the way down. And the simply outstanding Theatre of Dionysus, currently under some repair and refurbishment. But uh, the Theatre of Dionysus, how lovely is that? And of course, the Acropolis at the top of the hill. And a simply stunning view over the city of Athens and simply stunning views on the entry to the Acropolis itself. An absolutely fantastic pieces of marble and a fantastic entry to the Acropolis itself and part of the rear of the entrance to the Acropolis, still in quite reasonable condition and some very useful information about the site and its history and its refurbishment. And again, another description of the site itself and the works that are going on. 2,000 years ago, the Romans and the Greeks spent time constructing this by hand. And today, we are using modern day machinery to be able to effect a repair. And still more useful information about the site and the Parthenon. And of course, a fantastic view of the site itself and the outstanding view of the Parthenon here at the Acropolis in Greece. And over the wall you can see more of the site of the Acropolis from the top of the hill and very useful information and uh, pause, pause the video if you need uh, to take a read it will pause and it should give you uh, a good read so pause the video and zoom in It'll work. How useful is that? And here's a view you don't see every day. And that is the view of Athens from the top of the Acropolis. 
How about that? And to the side of the Parthenon, more restoration going on, utilizing modern day techniques and a very complex site with a variety of views of the Parthenon and the rest of the Acropolis site. And the entry and exit to the site and up the hill towards the Parthenon. And this is one of the exits uh, from the Acropolis. And when you come down, you'll come down into this uh, partially pedestrianized area where you will see a variety of different bus companies doing the tours. You have the uh, blue and yellow company. There is the blue bus company and also the red bus, the city sightseeing tours uh, that we've been on today. So I uh, hope that's been useful. And this is where you get your connection to go back to Piraeus and to your cruise ship. And whilst you wait for your bus connection, you can find a lovely little spot in uh, the woods here. Lots of nice little uh, places to sit, nice and cool, because uh, it does get quite hot in Athens, so um, any sh uh, shelter is very welcome. So, as you wait for your bus, you can grab yourself a drink from the local shop in the centre of the screen, the white uh, roof, and you can find yourself a nice little seat, which lovely Susie has done. So. We hope that helps. So today we've been on a partial tour of Athens and we've been to the Acropolis, to the Parthenon, we've seen the Temple of Dionysus and we've given you a few tips and tricks about what to do and where to go when you're in Athens. The hop on hop off bus tour um, has a number of key stops and one of them is A4 and it is where you get your transfer bus back to Piraeus i.e. the cruise port. So if you're thinking about doing a tour of Athens you do well to get yourself a hop on hop off bus. It will take you around a number of different routes. The green route will be on the coast and the red route will take you around the city and A4 is a stop off point for all of those routes. So uh, really easy, really good connections, really easy to uh, discover Athens. And we've had a great day here. It's been rather hot, but we've seen the Acropolis and the Pantheon. Uh, and we're glad that you came along with us. So if this is the sort of content that you like, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It's through your subscription, which is completely free, that this channel can grow. And we thank you for your participation. Drop us any comments or any questions at the bottom of this video. We'll be happy to answer them. Back on our bus now, on our way back to Piraeus, the port uh, for Athens. And just give you a one last glimpse of the Acropolis and the Pantheon and the general surrounding area available from the top deck. Okay everybody, so following our bus tour uh, to the Acropolis and the Pantheon, we've uh, had an express bus trip back and we're now entering back into the port to get back on the lovely explorer of the sea. Okay, so we're back in the port now, in Piraeus, and we've just got off our hop on, hop off bus. Taxis are coming back now, dropping off uh, people from various port, parts of the port. And here's the beautiful explorer of the seas. And here is the entry terminal for us getting back on. Okay, so welcome back cruise fans. And we're in Athens, it's day four on the beautiful Explorer of the Seas. 
and we've been out in the city of Athens today and we've been to the Acropolis and we've seen the Pantheon and we've taken you along with us. We hope that was useful and you got a few tips and tricks along the way and if this is the sort of content that you like then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It's through your subscription, subscription that the channel will grow and it's free to do, it's easy to do and it'd be a pleasure to welcome you to the community. So, that was Athens, day four on Explorer Season. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye. And if you like this video, why not check out our channel, Ray and Sue's Travel Channel, where you'll find a raft of other cruise videos covering the Far East, the Middle East, the Mediterranean, and the Caribbean and Mexico. So please leave us any comments that you'd like and consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It's through your subscription that this channel can grow.